Can I ask what you're what? acting as my witness? Just stay by my side. Don't say anything. Cute dog. Golden Retriever? Yeah. His name's Thomas Jefferson, which is lame, I know. But he's very presidential. Aren't you, TJ? Amanda, it would be a mistake to think there will be no consequences to you telling lies about the president. How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Olivia Pope. And I want to be clear, I'm not here in any official capacity. I'm only here to warn you, because you should know what could happen. It could become hard for you to find employment. Your face would be everywhere. People would associate you with a sex scandal. All kinds of information about you would easily become available to the press. For example, you've had 22 sexual partners that we know of. Also, there's that ugly bout of gonorrhea. And your family. Your mother's mental illness, a psychotic break, two years at Bedford Hospital. I bet that's private. She runs a daycare now, right? He told me he loved me. He gave me this dog. See, it's those kind of lies that could hurt you if you said them to other people, people not as nice as me. I'll give you some free advice. Hand in your resignation, then pack up your dog and your things, get in your car and go. Find a small city, Minneapolis maybe, or Denver. Get a little job, meet a boring boy, make some friends. Because in this town, your career is over. You're done. Why are you doing this to me? I'm a good person. You know who else was a good person? Monica Lewinsky. And she was telling the truth, but she still got destroyed. If you get subpoenaed in front of a grand jury, you can testify as an officer of the court that I was working on my own. I didn't blackmail or threaten her. If you don't get subpoenaed, this never happened. It's handled.